My name is Enza Maria Valente and I am Professor of Medical Genetics at the University of Pavia and Head of the Neurogenetics Unit at the Santa Lucia Foundation in Rome. Thank you for watching this video abstract summarizing our study recently published in Brain, which reports the first genetic cause of basal ganglia agenesis in humans. Basal ganglia are subcortical grey nuclei, which play essential roles in controlling voluntary movements, cognition and emotion. They are composed by this triatum, which comprises the putamen and caudate nucleus, visible here, as well as the olfactory tubercle and nucleus accumbens, the globus pallidus, the substantia nigra, and the subthalamic nucleus. While basal ganglia acute or chronic dysfunction is observed in many acquired neurodegenerative or metabolic disorders, congenital malformations are very rare. In particular, dysplastic basal ganglia are only seen as part of the malformative spectrum of tubulinopathies and is linked lysencephaly with abnormal genitalia. But neurodevelopmental syndromes characterized by basal ganglia agenesis or dysgenesis are not known to date. Here we describe two unrelated children presenting a highly distinctive congenital blame malformation. This was characterized by a genesis of the putamina and globi pallidi, this genesis of the caudate nuclei with hypoplasia of the thalami, dysplasia of the diencephalic mesencephalic junction, and a genesis or hypoplasia of the olfactory bulbs not visible in these MRI sections. Clinically, both girls were normal at birth, but they soon developed psychomotor delay and intellectual impairment, as well as a severe generalized dystonia and spastic tetraparesis. To identify the genetic defect responsible for this disorder, we performed whole exome sequencing in both children. Identified pathogenic variants were subsequently characterized by means of molecular dynamic simulations and functional studies in transfected cells and in patients' fibroblasts. Bioinformatic analysis of sequencing data identified two distinct homozygous pathogenic variants in the GSX2 gene, a member of the family of homeobox transcription factors. One variant was nonsense resulting in an early truncated protein. The other was a missense variant affecting a highly conserved amino acid residue, which was consistently predicted to be pathogenic in silico. It resulted in reduced protein expression and caused impaired structural stability of the homeobox domain and weaker interaction with DNA. Moreover, in transfected cells, the mutant protein was retained in the cytoplasm with significantly reduced ability to enter the nucleus compared to the wild-type protein. Homeobox genes are evolutionary conserved genes that play essential roles in regulating embryonic development, particularly of the forebrain and midbrain structures. Indeed, the basal ganglia embryologically derive from the prosencephalon or forebrain, the most rostral of the three vesicles originating from early patterning of the neural tube along the anterior posterior axis. The forebrain divides into diencephalon and telencephalon, which further separates into two domains, the dorsal pallium, which gives rise to the cerebral cortex, and the ventral subpallium, which generates the basal ganglia. In particular, Basal ganglia arise from true protrusions of the subpallium, termed the median ganglionic eminence, from which the globus pallidus originates, and the lateral ganglionic eminence, which gives rise to the caudate, the putamen, and the olfactory tubercle. The ganglionic eminences also represent the major source of interneurons migrating into the cerebral cortex and the olfactory bulb. This complex developmental process is tightly regulated by an interplay of molecules and transcription factors. Studies in the developing murine brain showed that GSH2, the murine homologue of GSX2, is highly expressed in neural progenitors of both the lateral and median ganglionic eminences, where it promotes neuronal differentiation while negatively regulating oligodendrogenesis. Strikingly, the neuroimaging phenotype observed in our patients closely mirrored the developmental abnormalities seen in GSH2 knockout mice. Indeed, these animals show a marked reduction in sites of striatal structures, as well as abnormalities of the globipality and the thalamic nuclei. 
Expression studies and whole transcriptome analysis on both patients' fibroblasts demonstrated reduced expression of GSX2 itself, likely due to an altered transcriptional self-regulation, as well as significant expression changes of related genes, which also closely resembled the defects seen in knockout mice. In particular, the lack of GSX2 was found to impair the expression of ventral regulators, such as ASCL1 and its murine homologue MASH1, while increasing the expression levels of dorsal telencephalic genes, such as PAX6. In conclusion, we reported the first genetic cause responsible for basal ganglia agenesis and demonstrated that congenital absence of basal ganglia in humans is not lethal but leads to a severe hyperkinetic neurological disorder. I would like to thank all collaborators and funding bodies who made this study possible and you for watching this video abstract. Have a very nice day.